Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I decided to turn this camera on and do a little chit chat while I'm waiting for Walter to get ready. He's so slow. But anyway, I need to go to my post office mailbox. Uh, a couple people told me they sent me something. So, I haven't checked my P.O. box in quite a while, so I'm going to check. And uh, I'm going to talk about this free, Freestyle Libra 2 uh, meter that I'll be using instead of doing finger sticks. I'll show y'all this what the box looks like. Pulling off my prescription thing. So, I got a picture of it on the box. I haven't put it on yet. Here's the picture of it. A little disc. About the size of a quarter. This is the Freestyle Libra 2. They also have a Freestyle Libra 3. And it's a little bit larger than a nickel. But I prefer to get this one. That way I can use the reader. I don't have to use my uh, iPhone to check the what you call it okay let me show you how it comes it comes with the actual sensor is in this I'm not gonna open it yet cuz I can't apply it right now it comes with this so what you do is unscrew when I get ready to do it I'll show y'all you unscrew this You open this, and then once this is unscrewed, there's something in here that will you're supposed to stick on to the sensor that's in here, and you're supposed to make sure the numbers there are code numbers. Make sure they match on this and this, and make sure nothing has been opened or tampered with. It comes with two alcohol pads. You're supposed to, after you take a shower, don't put on no lotion or nothing. You clean the back of your arm with an alcohol pad. You know, they say the back of your arm. I want to put it on my stomach so it don't show. But they say the back of your arm, so I'll do it. So when I get ready to apply it, uh, apply it under here okay so it's supposed to last for 14 days it has some kind of adhesive on it and it's a thin filament needle or something that's going to stick in your skin but supposedly it don't hurt because I've done a lot of research they say it feel like a pinch so whatever I'll do that. Rather do that than keep pricking my finger several times a day. Okay. I chose to use the reader. Let me show y'all. So it's going to monitor my blood sugar levels. This is what the reader looks like. It comes with the a cable plug come with the cable this thing that goes into the wall this look like I can plug this into my computer that's what it looks like and you just press one button okay and once I apply this thing I sync it to this and this, this is how I read it I hold it close to me like that and just read my monitor my blood sugar level and they say if this is uh, does it if the, the readings on here don't match up with how I'm feeling like if I feel my sugar is up or too low then of course I use the finger 
prick thing that I've been using. So it's supposed to last 14 days and then I will put on a new one. And I got two. I hope it works for me because I have to pay for this. Insurance paid 80%, but I still wind up paying $130. Here's the other one. And the reason I couldn't uh, apply it now, I have to have a bone density test. Because that pill I'm supposed to take for to monitor me. No, the pill I'm supposed to take for five years for breast cancer. Um, supposedly it gives you osteoporosis and um, they, the doctor wants to do a baseline for my bone density. So they're going to keep track of how my bones are doing. And I also have to take calcium plus vitamin D. I was taking vitamin D anyway. But I can't do any of this stuff. Can't apply the, the thing. Can't apply that yet. And uh, can't take my calcium tablets until I have my bone density scan. I'm due to have that on Monday. That's in a couple of days. Today is Saturday. I had to take my jewelry off again because you can't have no metal in that when you're, in, when you're being scanned. So I had just got through putting all my bracelets and everything back on. So I had to take them off because it takes a while to take off all my bracelets. So. What else I want to talk about? There's a chocolate recall. I know a lot of people buying folks chocolates for Mother's Day, which is tomorrow. There's a recall because of salmonella on Elite, E L I T E, chocolate. And I read a little bit about it. It's uh, a bunch of pigeons got into the chocolate factory and you know pigeons do what pigeons do all up in the factory so <clears throat> so check your chocolate if you bought some if it has elite on there anywhere take it back to where you bought it because you don't want your folks your loved ones getting sick from salmonella that is too bogus that's so nasty a pigeon's going to get up in the factory. Well, pigeons ain't nothing but flying rats. So, that's all I want to talk about. It wasn't too much. So, I want to wish all the mothers out there Happy Mother's Day. I want to wish the aunties, the big mamas, grandmamas, the fathers acting in the place of a mother. Happy Mother's Day. Okay? And so far, I don't have any plans at all. So I don't know what's... I don't know what's going to happen. And actually, Mother's Day came before I knew it. So I ain't bought nobody no card. I ain't did nothing. So I'm about to go out and check out a couple houses two of my daughters there looking to buy a house so I want to check out a couple houses make sure the neighborhood is right safe for my kids so makes me feel proud when um, my kids want to be homeowners okay so I want to thank you all for watching for listening Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. And if you want to know more about the chocolate that's recalled, just 
Google it, which chocolate has been recalled. And they'll let you know. Don't bombard my, you know, messages with what, what I'm talking about. Just look it up. And also some air fryers have been recalled. I forgot the name of it. One particular brand. Nothing that I have. But Google that too. Which air fryer have been recalled. Air fryer and air fryer oven. So. Y'all be blessed. Okay. Bye. Hi honeys. I just want to tack on a couple things onto the end of this video. Okay, me and Walter just got back. I did go to my post office mailbox. And um, one of my honeys had told me a month ago that she had sent me something straight from Amazon. So I haven't been to my post office mailbox. So this was in my mailbox. Look at this, y'all. I had mentioned in one of my videos over a month ago that I wanted a wooden uh, big spoon or ladle. Look look at this, y'all. And this is made out of bamboo. Like my wooden utensils. Another honey had sent me a couple pieces. And I used the spoon a lot. I don't use the fork hardly. But I wanted a big like a soup spoon this is a ladle and what I like about this is it has this so it don't fall down in the pot I can just leave it look at that very very nice and it's made out of bamboo wood I will be using this thank you Buffy I don't know if I'm supposed to use her name or not but Buffy sent this to me thank you very much I appreciate it. I love it. I'm gonna wash it good and I'll put it in my wooden utensil drawer. Okay, and also I got a beautiful card, a handmade card from Alma Marie. I ain't gonna say her last name. So I don't know how long this has been there. If y'all send me something and I don't uh, say nothing about it, please give me a little nudge or tell me that you sent me something so I know to go to my post office mailbox to go check. Check it. So, this is a handmade card. This fell off in the envelope. But it was supposed to be like that. It's beautiful. She got the breast cancer awareness ribbon on here. She got the butterfly, this pretty flower. Courage, faith, love, strength. Little thingamajig right here. This is very nice. It says draw closer to the beauty of God. So this is what the front of the card looks like. And she has a personal message inside it. And, oh, she sent this April the 8th, over a month ago, y'all. Okay, well, anyway, she basically letting me know that she's praying for a full recovery, back to good health, during my breast cancer journey. And she went through the same thing um, a year ago, a couple years ago. So, she's also a breast cancer survivor. So, I want to thank you, Alma Marie. That's a pretty name. Yeah, this is personal to me, so I can't read it. But, um, and she's still going through stuff. So, 
I will let you, I will keep you uh, lifted up in prayer, Alma Marie. And thank you so much for these heartfelt words. And I can tell that this is from somebody who's also gone through this because this comes straight from your heart and it's going straight to my heart. So what comes from the heart goes to the heart. Thank you very much. And I will keep these with my cards. Thank you so much. You can't really see the beauty of it. But it's texture. It got beautiful doodads on it. And she took her time and made this. You know, can't really see it. But it's gorgeous. You walk to look those and say, oh, that's pretty. It's pretty. So. I want to thank my honeys for always thinking about me. I want to thank you, Buffy, for my ladle. And I just was casually mentioning wooden utensils and what I would like to have. I think I was making chili then or some kind of soup. I was saying I wish I had a wooden ladle. And I think a couple days later she sent me an email telling me she was going to send this to me. Well, it's been a long time because I haven't checked my post office mailbox for quite a while. But she sent it just like she said. So, let me hold these up. This is going to be my thumbnail. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Continue to give me thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. And once again, happy Mother's Day, y'all. In case I don't get to you tomorrow. Y'all be blessed. Bye.